Cloning is just like baking a cake. Get the recipe right and the cake will rise every time. Except with cloning, if you get the recipe right, your steak will rise every time. Here's how it's done. First, you need some eggs. Cow eggs, that is. The eggs are stored in the ovaries. You can pick up some ovaries from an abattoir. Next, you need to aspirate the eggs out of the ovaries. The yolk or nucleus of the egg is removed. Then you need to get a tissue sample from the animal you want to clone. For living animals, you can get a tissue sample using a tissue sampling unit. For dead animals, you can get a sample of the meat. The tissue sample needs to be put on ice and sent to a laboratory as soon as possible. A cell from the donor animal is placed alongside an enucleated egg in a fusion chamber. An electrical pulse is applied to the cells, which fuses them together. Some chemicals are applied to the cells to induce fertilization. An embryo then starts to develop. The embryos are then transferred to a surrogate cow. About nine months later, a clone of the original is born. So if you follow the cloning recipe, your steak will rise every time. <laughs>